In the last 45 years, we have lost three out of every four butterflies in the UK. Of the species that remain, more than 40% of them are threatened with extinction. Unless we can all act together to do something about this, we may be the last people to remember a time when UK summer flower beds were covered in butterflies. That's where the big butterfly count comes in. The big butterfly count is the largest butterfly survey in the world. Every year it gives you the chance to tell scientists what's going on with your local butterflies so that they can monitor butterfly populations. The number of butterflies acts as an early warning for the number of other species in the ecosystem. They are known as a key biodiversity indicator. If the numbers of an indicator species are falling, then this is a big warning sign that the rest of nature is in trouble. Scientists can use the number of butterflies as a proxy for ecosystem health. This means that by recording the number of butterflies across the UK each year, scientists are able to basically use the big butterfly count as a way to assess the UK's environmental health every single year. This year it's taking place between Friday the 15th of July and Saturday the 17th of August. The survey is really easy. All you need to do is sit in one spot in the UK for 15 minutes and record down the butterflies that you see. Make sure that you're only recording down the maximum number of species that you saw at any single time. So if you're in your garden and you see a peacock butterfly going past, that's fine. But if you then see it go past two more times, you can't record down three peacock butterflies because you can't really tell for sure whether it was the same individual or three different individuals. By all means, if you manage to see three peacock butterflies in one place at the same time, then you can write down three for your peacock butterfly count. This time of year is great for the survey because lots of butterflies are in the adult stage of their life cycle. This means that there's a higher chance of spotting them flying around, giving us a much more accurate picture of how many are out there. Butterflies are an important part of our ecosystem. Maybe you'll get lucky during your survey and see them performing their roles as pollinators of our plants or a food source for other animals. You don't need to sit in one place to do your survey. If you want to, you can do it during a 15 minute walk. Just make sure that you're counting down every single butterfly that you see. You don't need to worry about double counting like you do on the sit down survey because it's quite unlikely that you'll run into the same butterfly twice while you're walking. At this point in the video, you're probably wondering what's going on with all of these butterflies behind me. Well, these are the 21 species that you're supposed to be looking out for during the big butterfly count. 18 of these are butterflies and three of them are moths. Don't worry about memorizing them though. There are handy charts online that you can take out with you to help out. The 21 species have been split onto different charts depending on which country you're counting from. This chart shows the 20 species you should be looking out for in England and Wales. This is the chart used to identify the 17 species you should be looking out for in Scotland. The final chart has been put together to help you identify the 15 species you should be looking out for in Northern Ireland. There are more than 60 butterfly species in the UK, so why is this survey just focusing on 21? Well, by only focusing on a set number of species, the number of counting errors are reduced, so scientists can be more confident in the results they get. If you do spot any species that aren't part of the survey, you can always record them down on the free I Record Butterflies app. This app guides you through the identification of any UK butterfly species. You can compare your own photos against those in the app's image library, and once you've figured out the species, you can add your sighting. This way scientists can still collect information about all of our butterflies. Understanding the year-on-year -year trends in the butterfly populations of the 21 species that the Big Butterfly Count looks at can really help us understand how to protect these species from extinction. In 2021, there were nine butterflies or moths counted on average during a person's survey. Now this might seem okay on the surface, but if you compare that to the previous year in 2020, there were actually 11 species counted on average. And if you compare that again to the year beforehand in 2019, there were 16 species counted on average. Suddenly this seems to look like a rather worrying downward trend in population. In fact, the survey in 2021 found the lowest number of butterflies were recorded since the big butterfly count began in 2010. This is despite the fact that over 107,000 people took part, which is the biggest number of participants yet. They recorded 38,000 combined hours of butterfly counting, which is also the most records that have ever been submitted. Common species like the peacock and small tortoiseshell butterflies showed big declines. Although some species like the ringlet and marbled white butterflies did increase, it's thought that the warm spring let them emerge earlier in the year than usual. This means that more adults were out during the count, so the actual populations may not have increased. This table shows how the numbers of each species recorded during the 2021 big butterfly count changed compared to 2020. The amount of red on this table is what's worrying scientists. 
I've put together some wildlife friendly gardening guides that you can use to make your garden a haven for butterflies. Check out the video description for a link to those guides. The survey contributes to butterfly conservation's overall goals. By 2026, they want to halve the number of threatened butterfly and moth species, improve the condition of a hundred of the most important butterfly and moth landscapes, and transform a hundred thousand wild spaces in the UK for the benefit of people, butterflies and moths. Maybe you'll get to see the most common species that were recorded last year. Look out for the small white in gardens and allotments where cabbages are grown. Their wingspan is only four and a half centimetres, but they have distinctive brown wingtips and spots. Depending on the weather, this species can produce up to three broods a year. Keep an eye out for the adults from later broods, which will have much darker markings. Maybe you'll spot its bigger counterpart, the large white. With a 6.5 cm wingspan and black wing corners, this one is an easy spot across gardens. See if you can find any females which have two large black spots on their upper wings. The third most seen species, the meadow brown, may show up during your survey. It's the most abundant butterfly in many habitats, and at some locations hundreds can be seen at once. You can even see this species when it's dull outside and when most other species have stopped flying. The gatekeeper, or hedge brown, is another commonly spotted species during the survey, although only in England and Wales. Around a dozen wing patterns are recognised, but in general they are always orange butterflies with brown wing borders, and have that black spot on their upper wing. The fifth most commonly seen species is the red admiral. This species migrates from North Africa and mainland Europe every year to lay eggs during the UK spring. Adults emerge from July onwards, and although this wasn't historically the case, there is now some evidence that they may be overwintering in the south of England. By taking part in the Big Butterfly Count, you're giving scientists the data that they need to be able to meet their butterfly conservation goals. Perhaps with this data, we can prevent or even reverse the decline in butterfly populations so that future generations can enjoy them too. Submit as many counts as you want in as many places as you want for the whole time that the survey's running. Make sure you're also submitting results when you don't see any butterflies. If nobody sees any butterflies in a particular place that year, it could be a sign of a wider problem. Are you planning to take part in the big butterfly count? Let me know which species you're hoping to spot in the comments below. If you want to support me in continuing to create these free educational videos, then check out my new Patreon page. I have five different monthly support tiers to choose from, ranging from just £2 up to the higher tiers where you can vote for video topics, have your name credited at the end of each video, receive personalised art of any UK species, and get one-on-one -on -one consultation calls with me on any nature-related topic of your choice. Subscribe to Ferroforest to keep learning about UK nature.